Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst, Adam Karlberg. So we're going to be taking a good look and diving into the world of Bitcoin. So as we all know, in the last week, Bitcoin has been under increasing pressure after cryptocurrency exchange FTX became insolvent and filed for bankruptcy. This caused a, a, a great deal of pressure and wreaked havoc on the cryptocurrency sector as many consumers and customers struggled to get their funds out as the sell-off uh, after the aggressive sell-off. So the question remains, well, what's next for the price of Bitcoin and can it recover from where it is currently standing and that recent sell-off? So first of all, we are going to have a look at the long-term chart just to get a bit of an indication on how aggressive the one this sell-off was and where our next support is. So what we notice here is that obviously we, we hit this big downtrend, um, as we've discussed before, broke through, and then in the last week, we've had this significant sell-off, breaking the lows at, breaking these lows at about $17,500 on some pretty significant volume. So all that indicates to us is there's some pretty big players who've tried to jump out of this, uh, out of Bitcoin. Secondly, what we see is that this week so far, we've had a little bit of volume buying volume come in, but we haven't been able to soak up the volume just yet. So as you can see, we've got this pretty um, small candle with not a lot of range but on some pretty decent buying volume and still nothing, which indicates that the selling isn't done and that buyers aren't yet soaking up this value. We are sitting on this long-term support um, that was a resistance point in 2018. And so far we haven't yet been able to break through. Although our next real point of support is at about $12,000. So that's where we're looking for for any potential shorts. Um, and there should be a pretty big uh, support zone at this point. Now, as we move along into the daily chart to see what's really going on with Bitcoin. And as we said, um, we're going to just zoom in a little bit. Just bear with me, guys. And we can see that there was this rush of volume over here, just a massive dump and selling. And since then, we haven't seen, and that was on the initial news, since then, we haven't seen a, um, a another dump, although what we have got is a period of consolidation and almost a bear flag. And that kind of coincides with what we saw before, where we've been in a consolidation, but we haven't really seen that buying come back yet. So as we can see, we've got a bit of a flag here. And what we may expect to see before a next move down is a tightening of... Um, tightening of the price and hopefully a big upward move in the volume and that'll give us a really good indication of where the next move will go but so far we've got this downward moving in the volume in that volume um, and so we are just waiting for that next pretty big move in the volume before perhaps testing out this level over here at about 12,800 or so. So we are looking for maybe a $4,000 uh, $4, move. Just reset this chart. And you would like to see a breakthrough or breakout, breakdown of this triangle. And that'll give us a good entry point. So perhaps, um, you know, that's really what we're looking for. But guys, pretty, f not a lot of bullish signs on Bitcoin at the moment. As we know, the news isn't particularly great. However, if we were to see a, um, a buyout or some kind of resilience shown in the macro sector, that may support the price. And alternatively, if another big cryptocurrency exchange was to go down and follow suit, it may act as a catalyst for a more powerful sell-off um, that may even push through this $12,400 mark. But guys, yeah, as we've stated already, it's a pretty weak pretty weak um, asset at the moment and nothing really indicating that it's time to go long. So definitely want to keep an eye out 
especially for that breakdown of that bearish flag. But thanks, guys, for watching. Good luck trading.